heartbreaking. Tragic sudden diagnosis about Trump's health released. It's only been 24 HRS. Liberals have compassion for everyone, everyone except for conservatives of course. Their mask of human compassion quickly melts away when someone stands up to their broken logic with a conservative viewpoint. The mantra of love and compassion turns into a license to do any harm necessary when it comes to protecting the liberal agenda. The biggest crusade of the left, from the top of Congress down to the everyday social justice warrior at the moment is to remove the hated President Trump from office. He is the embodiment of what they hate, a man's man with a clear purpose to put American values back on top and to lead the country back towards smaller government and more freedom. This doesn't sit well with the liberal politicians who have found a very cozy place in Washington and don't plan to give it up without a fight. Since there was nothing they could do about him winning, and there's been no way to invalidate the election results, though not without a whole lot of trying, they're not moving on to invalidating the person himself. President Trump went through just as much as any president to obtain his office, but liberals are now trying to say that he's physically unfit for office. Despite the fact that he keeps almost superhuman hours and gets more done in a day than most get done in a week, the left, with the media at its back, is trying to broaden the loophole of physical fitness precluding him from office, and shove him through it. Since the actual tests that the president recently underwent didn't come back the way they hoped they would, the media has turned to its old standby, try to convince the people of something that they made up. The Hill reports that CNN is leading the charge in changing public opinion about President Trump's physical condition. CNN's chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, said Wednesday that he believes tests reveal that President Trump has heart disease. Gupta said dating back to 2009, Trump started to have these tests that are actually looking for the presence of calcium in the blood vessels that lead to the heart. Steadily, up until just this past week when he had it performed again, those numbers have gone up, he said. When they get to a certain range, that means he has heart disease. Gupta then talked about his interaction Tuesday with Trump's doctor, Navy Rear Admiral Dr. Ronnie Jackson. It was interesting when I spoke to Dr. Jackson. At first, he said he passed all the tests with flying colors, Gupta said. When I asked him specifically about that test, he did then concede that, in fact, the president does have heart disease. They are going to be increasing the medications, including the cholesterol-lowering medications to try and combat that, but there's no question, by all standards, by all metrics, any way a doctor or cardiologist will look at it, the president does have heart disease. Gupta said it's controllable with medications, adding that Trump needs to have his diet under control. But he does have heart disease, he said. Jackson, who has served as the presidential physician since 2013, on Tuesday gave Trump a clean bill of health, declaring him physically and mentally fit for office. He said that Trump's overall health is excellent adding that the president had mostly normal results on several tests of his cholesterol and heart health. His cardiac performance during his physical exam was very good, he continues to enjoy the significant, long-term cardiac and overall health benefits that come from a lifetime of abstinence from tobacco and alcohol, Jackson said. So, apparently he's in better than average health for someone his age, which, by the way, is very close to the age of the liberal darling. Hillary, that they wanted in office, and it's being attributed to his personal choice to not take part in drinking or smoking. The irony of the left calling out President Trump on his health isn't lost on anyone. Several conservatives poked fun at this ridiculous double standard on Twitter. Hey at Brian's Telter, you literally rolled your eyes and called us reckless conspiracy theorists for questioning Hillary's health. Yet you now demand questions continue to be asked of Trump's health even after an Obama-appointed doctor gave him a perfect score. What changed? We all know it's not about heart health, it's about the health of the liberal agenda with President Trump in the Oval Office. Trump's Navy physician, his cardiac health is excellent. TV doctor, he has heart disease. Invoke the 25th. If a search for the truth was the objective of CNN. They wouldn't still be beating the drum about Russia or focusing on the president and his personal life.
perhaps if they spent more time trying to convince people that their point of view is right, instead of that President Trump is out to get them, they would have more success. Thus, 